Here's a common question grab bag for a corporation or LLC lawyer. Uh, people sometimes say, well, what do, you, what do you do? What do you get asked? And I just did a video about what is a day in the life of a corporate lawyer look like. But I thought I'd take a minute and kind of go through some of the questions we get asked here in the practice so that, you know, maybe a business owner, maybe somebody considering being a lawyer in the future, maybe somebody who is just curious what's happening in somebody else's life. What kind of questions does a business lawyer get asked? And I, I did a grab bag here. And I'm going to potentially give some general answers. Again, you know, this is not attorney client. I can't advise you over the internet. Uh, this is just general learning for you. You know, consult a lawyer in your jurisdiction, obviously, with your actual legal issues. But here's what we get asked look at this agreement, is a very common one, right? Uh, there are different types of agreements that come up in the life of a business lawyer. A lot of mine reflect ownership, it's an LLC agreement, it's corporation documents. It's contracts, but you know, one of the common things I get is look at this agreement. What does this agreement say? Is this agreement good or bad? How can we make this agreement better? Tailor this agreement to our business objectives. So very common. Look at this agreement. Uh, help with this negotiation. We're negotiating with somebody. We're trading something. We're buying or selling something, and they want me to advise on the negotiation. Are the terms good or are the terms bad? Uh, how can we get better terms? Should we uh, offer this or offer this at that stage, right? Um, should we back off on any requests? Uh, so we're negotiating partners with our clients. A lot of times, one of the key roles of a lawyer, a business lawyer anyway, is to help guide negotiations and talk about the practicality, uh, the benefits about staying firm on issues versus conceding issues and getting things over with. And, you know, uh, maybe making a small concession, get something wrapped up and signed and saves hundreds or thousands of dollars in legal fees. It's very practical. Uh, maybe sometimes making the wrong concessions at the wrong time leads to even more concessions and breaks a deal. So we, we talk about the risks and benefits of that. We are uh, often brought in as a negotiation advisor. Uh, try to settle this. Somebody showed up and they're angry, or somebody has a contract claim, or maybe the exact terms of a contract weren't followed. Uh, now maybe it's law firm to law firm, uh, two clients. One of them's not happy with the contract, one didn't follow the terms of the contract. We're trying to work it out. Uh, we are often settlement agents trying to avoid the possibility of going to litigation. So there's a problem, and now you're calling the lawyer to potentially settle it. Um, Tell me what my legal rights are. What can I can I do? Um, maybe I'm a maybe I'm a, I own a small percentage of a company, and the company's not giving me information about what's happening in the business, and I'm not seeing financial statements. You might call your lawyer and say, um, you know, Sean. In my case, you know, they call me my name, Sean, so they'll say, Sean, what can I do? What are my rights? Uh, and then we talk about the practicality of it. Maybe what are your black letter rights what what does the law say you can do versus what are your practical rights yeah the law says you can get those books and records but it's going to be costly and time consuming to do it or we may have to take the other side to court do you really want to go to court over this these types of things um how do i handle this issue i have a problem they want advice on how to handle it and a lot of times that's a deeper question that's more of a relationship question when me and a client really know each other i know their business maybe i've been working with them regular i can give better advice on that you know that's harder with a brand new client uh sure we can ask the questions and get to know each other and we can get there too but a lot of times my existing clients my repeat clients come in and they say how do i handle this the other thing we see is i just got sued you know and in business you're occasionally going to potentially be subject to a lawsuit. So a lot of times the phone call comes into someone like myself, the corporate lawyer, because somebody got sued. And they say, hey, we got a problem. Uh, what do we do now? Can we? What can we do to defend this lawsuit? And where is the lawsuit? And we start building a strategy around that. These are the types of questions we get asked. Um, and so that's just a grab bag with some ideas. Hopefully that helpful, helps you, gives you some better ideas. Speaking of questions and comments, always love to see them here. Just remember that social media is public. Other people can see your comments. So don't put anything confidential in there. Use other forums for that. Talk directly to a client where you get the benefits of attorney-client privilege to the extent that it applies. So you know, reach out to your attorney. 
uh, potential attorney, somebody licensed in your jurisdiction, somebody knowledgeable in business law you want to work with and say, hey, I've got these questions and start building that relationship. But for general stuff, go ahead and drop it in the comments. We'd love to see it there. Some of our videos get a lot of comments. Many will get none, uh, but we'd love to see that. And then also make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel if you're interested in business and business law because we keep pumping out content on this, hopefully stuff that will help you in your business and your journey. Thanks for tuning in today, folks. I'm glad you're here.